Okay, part two. So we do the group chat texting thing. I have everybody's phone numbers. Um, we include people, we take them out, we include people, we take them out, and it was a confusing mess the next day. We had the time of our lives. So you could tell the group was kind of freaky, deaky. We were so excited that the next day we were still excited and saying, that was a confusing mess, but it was so much fun. So Kayla suggested to me we should do a Facebook chat because obviously with them being that angry about it, we're going to go do something else. You know, and at this point, Kathy could have said, I really don't like this idea, you guys, you know, but they were fucking pissed about this note four thing. And I was like, oops. And um, like I said, I assisted them in trying to figure it out. In the meantime, Danielle got really, really upset. Like she was like, I can't stand this anymore. My husband doesn't want me to text and be on Facebook and I'm addicted. Just all this weird stuff. And it just was like everything just came to an end, you know. But we were still so happy from the night before. So I started a group and I put truck wives gone wild, right? And I can tell you everybody that's in it right now. And um, and then we made it diesel wives because it got all crazy yesterday. Kayla, Jen, Esperanza, Melissa, Tammy, Mary, Candy, Kel you know, Carrie, Kitsy, Pamela, Sarah, Cindy. Okay. So <clears throat> that was open. We also had another group chat because after everything went down yesterday, we had to make part two. So we opened up another group so everybody could talk what happened. Like nobody could figure out what was going on. So <clears throat> Kathy posts this post very randomly. I know she's tired. I know she has stress. Believe me, I have it too. And she said, um, it, it, I, I may not get this verbatim, because I'm not in the group now, so I can't see the post. And she did delete it. Um, she said, I'm just going to leave the group and keep it going for you all. And and um, very victim-y. Very get on the cross. And um, I just don't have time for this right now. And Okay, when all this is going down, it appears as though this is bothering her, right? Because, because she said that. And it was like, why would you leave the group? And... We did the group chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your note for it. And I kept saying, I'm sorry. I, did, I didn't mean to do anything that hurt you. And, um, but again, we had a lot of fun. So she had these note fours. Um, Danielle had his note four. So they were in la la crazy outland. And everybody else in the group's like, on this group chat thing. Um, and Kathy was there and so was Danielle. They were there in the beginning. So I'll, I'll state that for the record. So she said, I'm going to be in the group and let you guys have it and you know very very dramatic and I said why why and I knew why but 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 I just wanted her to say it because she had just posted a thing saying be honest so I just wanted her to tell the truth if you don't like the group chat thing we'll stop the texting thing because I got everybody's number so we're going to do it again but we're going to do it right this time Okay, so I said, Kathy, I'm sorry, you know, we're sorry, like, are you? And, and we're back in the group chat, we're back in the group chat going, oh God, now she's upset with us, oops, so, um, it's kind of funny to me now, earlier video was really angry, but it, it's really funny now, and um, so she was going to leave, and she's like, you're just not getting it, and I'm like, what, what am I not getting? Um, I just wanted her to say the group chat thing is not cool. So she says it. People are going to feel left out. Now, mind you, we're now officially on Facebook group chat. I'm like, everybody has a messenger on Facebook. That's what my head was thinking. And she's like, not everybody on Facebook can use messenger. What? Every Wait, what? So as she's saying these things, I say, well, we can leave it. And she said, I didn't say you had to leave the group. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. I was talking about leaving the chat so she could calm down because she was being kind of irrational. And maybe our texting wasn't so great. But in my heart, I knew it was great because we laughed so fucking hard. It was so funny. We all felt we were closer and whatever. So and now she's saying I didn't say that. And I said, well, I don't get it, though. Why would you want to leave the group but leave it to us and it's your group over you didn't say what was wrong 
and I'm assuming it's a group chat and maybe the phone thing and you're tired and maybe a couple other things. And then hold on, <laughs> just be honest. Just, just say it. And she goes, no, I didn't say you had to leave the group. And I didn't say you had to leave messenger. That's all she freaking said. She didn't say, and I feel this way. And I feel that way. And I feel this way. And no, that did not happen. So it's a little hard to keep up with someone who's being passive aggressive and passive aggressive is, um, I'm just really hurt right now. <laughs> okay. That's passive aggressive. Passive is, oh, I'm a victim. I'm always a victim. Or maybe you're just a mellow person and aggressive is like, <laughs> and I border a little bit more on assertive than I do aggressive, but I can get aggressive. So I'm watching her post the stuff and, 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 and all of us little texter girls were like quieting down. We still kept the group chat open because some of the newer girls who had never even shared in the group were talking. And I thought, wow, that's what she wanted. So we didn't shut the trucker group chat on Facebook down because everybody there was saying like, it's cool. I didn't know Kathy had spies in there. Um, I didn't know she was spying on me. I, was just being honest like why is she mad at us so next thing I know she makes this grand statement and it's deleted okay now she's really hurt so we sit here and like the phone wasn't even moving like there was nothing on Facebook except for my regular it was like crickets cr crickets nothing 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 and I'm thinking, man, everybody's freaking out right now. Like, people aren't talking because they're afraid. But I thought we weren't supposed to be that way. I thought we were supposed to be honest. And all she had to say, honestly, this is all she had to say. She said she didn't feel comfortable with it. All she had to say was, you guys, I really don't want you to do that. I just, I'm afraid that maybe people will feel left out. Is there any way we can make, like, a file, which would have been smart, or an event which would have been smart, which is an admin panel, um, saying you can join these group chats and stay there. And then when you don't want to participate, don't answer. And then you can jump right back in, you know, and just ask to be joined or, or just stay in there. Um, all of us love Messenger, right? Now, in the meantime, I'm still talking to these women that I've been talking to. I've already made her aware of that. I, I, I did everything in my power to say these things are occurring in the group, but I'm not going to give up my sources. I can't do that. That would put members in jeopardy, and I'm not going to do that. That would be breaking trust, and I don't believe in that. So that goes down. Everybody kind of disappears. But I'm sitting here going, there's something wrong. There's something really, really wrong, and I don't know why. She won't fess up to it. She won't say, I don't want this occurring out of our group. Instead, she says, go ahead and be a messenger, but I'm leaving the group. That made no fucking sense whatsoever. Okay, was she tired? Maybe. And, and by the way, I'm sure she'll get this. Feel free, Kathy. Because I have nothing to hide. So, that goes down. I'm sitting in the group, and her and Danielle, this girl, uh, uh, one of the group members said, I hate when my husband ignores me. And she said, I do too. And he's doing it right now. And then Danielle said something like, I hate group chat. And I was like, ah, ah. they weren't even talking about that. That's not what it was about. It was about this uh, driver's wife who said she, she felt ignored by him, which we've all vented and talked about that stuff. And, the, and then Danielle said, I hate group chat. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, you were there. Okay. So... Kathy says, I feel like the group is ending. What do you, what do you, and I don't know if any of the other ladies caught this, but I did. Because I was watching and going, there's something going on, there's something going on. What's going on? I, I think I made a big boo-boo. And I apologized to her so many times, made my head spin. And she says... <laughs> I feel so betrayed. That's a huge statement. Betrayed by who? The group chat? She didn't say it was her husband. 
She didn't say any of that. She was literally in a post that said, I'm being ignored. She said the group was falling apart. Danielle's sitting there in caps saying, I hate group chat. And I'm all I'm thinking of is they both have a note for. They both have a note for. Were, were, did they feel left out? They were there. Okay, whatever. I feel betrayed. And all I'm thinking of is it's my fault. It's my freaking fault. I mean, I'm the one that did the group chat. I'm the one that helped the Facebook group chat start. And we were all laughing and having a good time. Um, including the people that are now still in our group. It was really weird. So, <laughs> and I deleted it, the first one, because I was like, I don't even want to hear it. And so, <laughs> I decided at that point I'm going to leave the group. Like, I, it just was too much. It has, it has been too much. It's been really weird, wonky. Like, the people that I had a close relationship with, I was even willing to risk them. I was just like, I got to get out of here. This is just too much drama. Not just drama. It was too much like victimy stuff. And I had made a video about that. I was like, we're not victims. We're not victims. We chose this life and this is what we do. I'd even made a video about that. Okay. Go by YouTube. Go see all the uh, videos that say trucker wise. Go see it. So, in that meeting, I said, let's do a group description. That way, when you kick people out, you tell them up front that you're doing it, and then they leave, and they don't bug you anymore. Seems simple to me. Be honest. Tell them up front, you know, you need to leave the group, you know, and just do like that 20,000, 30,000 group does that has an award every year. So, obviously, they're doing something right. And I knew how she handled it, and she got all butt hurt when I left, too. So, anyway, um... <sighs> Okay, so I graciously leave. I think it was like maybe three and a half sentences. I was like, you know, I love you all. Um, you're my sisters and you always will be. And um, thank you for all the support that you've given to me and I. But I'm leaving. <laughs> That's how simple it was. As soon as that occurred, it was like a shitstorm from not only hell, but it was like a shitstorm of women which is probably one of the worst shit storms you ever want to be in because we are catty as all get out. But <laughs> in my, so I leave the group graciously. Somebody messages me instantly and was like, what happened? And I said, I left the group. I left the group. It's I'm free white and 21. I mean, I can, I'm free white. Actually, I'm free Mexican and 21. It's like, I am free. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. And I wasn't hurtful. I didn't say anything mean. I just left the group. And then somebody told me she deleted it. So here we go. Next thing you know, we're in group chat again. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I've been kicked out. I'm thinking, fuck. She thinks all of us that were in group chat did this on purpose. Now I'm getting paranoid. And, and she kicked them out. So I messaged my friend, Sarah. I'm like, Sarah, everybody's getting kicked out. She's like, let me make another group. And she did that in all fairness. She did it as, as though, you know, I don't want to. And this is exactly what Sarah said to me. And I can read it to you. Okay. She said, I don't want truck driver wives to not have support. So she made a group called truck, trucker wives united. I joined. Because I just left Trucker Wives. But I want to be in a place where people are free. And these women were just... I mean, my phone was just like... This went on for hours. I got kicked out. I got, Come to find out, she disbanded the group. So people didn't get kicked out. But some did get kicked out. So how are you supposed to sort that shit out? Did it get kicked out? Or did the group disband? Ensued a bunch of drama. These are the texts I got from Kathy. As soon as Sarah made the group, so obviously some people were keeping an eye on things. And um, I'm sorry, I got a text. Hey, the girls are still texting me. Hello. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sitting here and l let's be honest, I have never texted Kathy before. Um, I had her number until we put her in the text chat. Okay. So I've never texted her or called her anything. And so I get this text. Okay. Well, we're trying to figure out who got kicked out, who got disbanded, what's going on. Kathy was secret, open, secret, open, closed, secret, open. So it was like insanity. It, it was complete insanity over this stupid thing we did. 
So this is what she said to me. Oh, let me warn you about this right here. This is not a proper form of communication. This is a device. You do not see my facial expressions. You do not know who I am. It is just a form of communication that's extremely poor. And there's the chats. There's her name. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of weird. Well, there's her name. I'll read the texts to you at 6.12 p.m. Now, right, we're right in the middle of insanity. Thank you for destroying the one and only thing that was important to me. I hope you sleep well tonight. Those are fighting words, okay? The thank you for destroying the one and only thing that was important to me, that was one insult. The second insult was I hope you sleep well tonight, which is like kind of putting the dagger in my back. I, I don't like that. I, I don't like that vibe. I, I don't like it. It's not me. I said, Kathy, I left so. You kicked them all out. Wow. Nope. Didn't kick them. Anyone. Deleted the entire thing. Well, that's when we started figuring out that people have been disbanded, possibly not kicked out. But we're still getting reports that they got kicked out. You guys betrayed me and are now bad-mouthing me. Don't text me back. I say, you could have said that. They felt betrayed. I told them why, Kathy. In other words, why I left. I said, Kathy, made a group. I love it, and I want to be able to chat, and it, and it hurts her. Um, they said, why? How? What's going on? We had fun, and I said, I'm sorry, and they wanted a group, so I'm sorry. That, I mean, this is at 6 o'clock at night, so this is when it was already out of control. No, what hurt me was you didn't know how to make make other members feel no, what hurt me was you didn't think how it made other members feel. First of all, I'm not responsible for other people's feelings, so let's just chuck that right at the door. Then when I brought it up, it was then twisted and make it out like I didn't want all group messaging, which that wasn't it at all. But it's all good. Thanks for nothing. Please, please don't text me again. I'm trying to put all this behind me. Out, in, secret, closed, new group, all that was happening. Please don't open up our phone numbers for the members who left. They are asking nicely. I don't know who all who all left, who all needs their, their numbers removed. Honestly, you disbanded the group, so they felt kicked. So, and, so, and some did get kicked. Some literally got kicked out of the group, and then some of them went with the disband. And I said a lot, because there was a lot of girls. I mean, there's like 30 girls. Just exactly what you wanted, wasn't it? Which is fine with me. I'll move on. Now stop texting me. As far as the numbers go, don't worry. I'm not the culprit here. Oh my God, Kathy. The group people are asking that they all got removed with numbers, please. So Sarah made a group with my permission also. What do you want, Tim? What do you want? Tim can see your post, Kathy, because she was friends with Tim. So Tim could see everything she was saying. No, I'm not. I left the group nicely. You disbanded and they're all feeling betrayed because at that moment, that's what was going on. She said, fuck land and I'm in fucking happy land. I don't want anything but furniture to keep me alone. Leave me alone. Kathy, please, you disbanded. They can't be left alone. Sarah had to. You left her no choice. We made the group. I left her no choice. I did nothing. If anything, you all did me wrong. But it's not important. I've lost a group, possibly my husband. But what more can I do to lose? Now, leave me alone. I'm done. Okay. That just tells you right there that somebody's in a spin out. Okay. I don't spin out. I don't spin out. When somebody talks to me, I'm honest with them. So now I'm like this in Messenger. Ah! Ah! Shit, what's going on? And, and the girls are giving me information like, oh, it was disbanded. Oh, it's open. Wait, it's another group. Well, it's this. It's that. It's this. It's that. It's this. That is confusing. When Sarah made the group, she made it because she did not want other people to feel left out. They thought they had been kicked out. Some were kicked out. Some were disbanded. So when she rejoined the group, at this point, we're talking about her because what just happened, right? What just happened? We group texted. She got pissed off about a phone thing to the last of, to the, you know, to our knowledge. And, 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 and now it's this big shit show and people are in the chat. As soon as I left the group and Sarah, you know, made a group for a safe place for people to go. When that went down, she left the conversation in the group chat and I caught it. 
I was like, oh, she's been listening to us the whole time. Part three to come up.